Welcome back. Where's my spectacles? Bobby J, where did you put my glasses? I know over here behind this thing and be and snuck around. Just get it. Don't hide my glasses. Is she blind as an old geezer? What? Just get a thank you. Jeez, just say welcome. <clears throat> okay, people, the things I have to put up around here with. Sitting next to H.T. Bomb. Hello, I'm H.T. Bomb. Okay, thank you for saying that. What happened to you? What do you mean? You're not on the roster. Oh, they knocked me off again? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what'd you do? Get kicked out? I don't know. Ah, well, we'll check it. Okay, the NFC offense leader, top players of uh, last week was quarterback from the Eagles, Wentz. Carson Wentz and then IFC offense, Sam Donald, the Jets quarterback. And uh, safety, Jericho, Baby Angel Jericho, 10 tackles, 1 interception, 1 forced fumble, 1 fumble recovery, and 1 touchdown. And then for the AFC defense, the Jets, Mosley. Seven tackles, one sack, and two interceptions. Congratulations, you. Oh, come on, I'm not on the list. You haven't done anything yet. In fact, I don't even know if you're on the roster anymore. I checked it a while ago, and you're off it. Oh, that's for next season. In case we don't go anywhere this season, I haven't signed yet. I'm sure nobody is holding their breath. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> okay. We're in week nine this season. Let's not talk about next season yet. Defensive coordinator. We're going to be playing against the Steelers. Coach, have you been paying much attention to Stealth Baby Angel Baraki? He played an awesome game last week. Keep an eye on that guy. If he has another big game against the Steelers this week, we might have a future superstar in our hands. Okay. What about me? Ah, nah, nah, nah. You're, you're not even on next season's roster yet. Because I'm waiting for a bigger cut of the uh, the pie. Well, you're going to have a long wait because I don't think they're going to sign you. I'm in negotiations to get signed for the next season. A lot of the baby angels will be back. Uh, Charlene Piggy Goober will be back. Slant Don Gomez will be back. What about you? We're still working on it. Uh, working on the details. They're asking me how's my lower legs, um, how's my ability to still function. Okay, in other words, you, you're going to just be sitting on the bench <laughs> next season. <laughs> We're working on it. Uh, Armini won't be back. They're going to replace him with Mike McCarthy. They're bringing Mike McCarthy back from the administration. Are they? Yeah, they're putting our media in administration. Switching them around. Yeah. At least that's the plan this this coming season. They wanted Mike, Mike McCarthy back. Okay. Offensive coordinator. Coach, tell me we've got a plan for TJ Watt this week. I've been losing sleep over this guy. Well, he's a ferocious pass rusher. Yes, he is. He comes with everything on every play. Yes, he does. He absolutely plays his heart out. Oh, I noticed that. If we want to move the ball, yeah, what do we do? We've got to figure out how to handle T.J. Watt. Eh, should we? Especially on third downs. Exactly slow him down. But we'll try. Can't afford to try. Just do it. Otherwise, you're not coming back next season as a quarterback. That's not nice. All right, we've got some big decisions to make. Uh, Baby Angel Abraham Isaac and Miriam Angela both have a high chance of re-injury. Uh, what do you think? What? You, weren't you paying attention? Abraham Isaac is is not ready. Oh, no, then start the back of Miriam Angela. Okay, that's all I was trying to get from you. Sheesh. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about my own career next season. You know, 
Oh, well, maybe you'll get signed. Maybe you can go play with the Texans. Yeah. Deshaun Watson and Dak Prescott with the Texans right now. Uh, they're still in negotiations. Dak Prescott with the Cowboys. Well, that's not my problem. Don't be crying to me. All right. Tyrone Crawford is trying to negotiate. When are you going to sign the man? He might just go to the Texans. I know, I know. Working on it. Don't work on it. Do it. $14 million. He wants more. You'll see those. And he was productive in the last game. Oh, okay. We'll increase his signing bonus. Bonus. <laughs> He'll get back to you. Are you kidding me? Jericho. Oh. He wants the bonus to be better. Does he? Does he what? Then he'll give a bigger bonus, you know. You've got to sign the man. What about Dak Prescott? Working on it. Well, right now he's with the Texans. On standby while his contractual agreements are being negotiated over here with the Cowboys. Is that what you're calling it? So. Signed. Finally. Thank you, Jericho. Take a page from this, Dak Prescott. He wants to be paid more. Okay. Roman. They made no Roman. Okay, we, we need that backup. He's just basically sitting around. Oh, well, yeah, but. He'll get back to us. Oh, the contract wave is works, but that's it. What? He wants more money. All he's doing is just sitting around. I know, he's on a bench most of the time. <laughs> if it's, these players, man. They think we're just an ATM machine. You are. And how come nobody signs me for next season? Because... <laughs> You're just doing what you're in. You're in the back office. Signing the paychecks. Negotiating people's contracts. And pissing off the Jones family. <laughs> giving everybody big money all the time. You think they're happy with you? <sighs> now look at this. If you could, you probably... <coughs> you probably sign all these players. Oh, I'm putting them on the list for the Cowboys, you know, doing the Cowboys a favor. Oh, wow. See? How we're backward. That's all we can afford right now. All right, let's take a look at the roster. Are you still on a team? Well, this season, but next season, I'm still in negotiations, you know. I know Dylan, uh, Randy, and Vanessa, and a whole bunch of them have been signed. Roman's been signed. And I'm still waiting for the papers to be cleared. Medical. They're looking at my lower legs. They're looking at my, my mental capacity as a quarterback to make snap judgments. I'm surprised you even made this deep. Well, Colt McCoy's been signed. Even Christina Taylor and Eddie James and Dylan. I'm the only one of this whole bunch that hasn't been signed for the next season. <laughs> they're telling you something. I don't care what they're telling me. Just sign me up and I I can make plays. I feel for you. Alright, Baby Angel Eddie James. H.T. Bomb. Broken. No, I'm not broken. Why are you doing here? What? Shouldn't you be suited up? Why are you in your street clothes and why are you sitting here? Oh, yes. You're, you're on active roster. What are you doing here? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll see you all later. Yeah. What a stupid idiot. He doesn't know any better. He's broken, dysfunctional. He's still trying to be 
what he once was. It's sad. I know. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, Louise. And he's agreeing with me. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't think I can go on with this. <laughs> Let's just play the game. Yeah. Huh? My train of thought is broken. Oh my gosh, people. I can't. I can't go on. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just play the game. I'm... Alright. If you want to know who the roster is, I'll try at the end of the game. If I remember. Let's just get on with this game. <laughs> The Dallas Cowboys versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. This should be an interesting contest. Uh, Cowboys lost Bobby J and Slam Dunk Gomez. Well, Slam Dunk's going to be in the game, but Bobby J, opinions? Yeah, I think you're crazy. You're nuts. Uh, that's not what I'm asking you. about the game? Steelers are going to win. Why? What? They got Juju Smith Schuster. Once he gets the ball, boom! That's it. Boom! Today, from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's Let's go! 
That was the Puckster, Chucky. Baby Angel Chucky, the Puckster. They needed to to make some yards, and the Puckster, who's trying to lose weight, by the way, he's on a crash diet. He's he says he weights. He he kind of feels a little bit pudgy. So he wants to lose a couple of pounds. I mean, he could. Let me look at him. He does look like he's been eating way too many tacos. And uh, he needs to lay off the Dr. Pepper. Wow, Big Angel Zeus is still alive with an injury. Okay, so that should be, that's a loss. That's a, a loss for the running game. Thank 
I gotta say that that was a circus of blunders. Um, and, you know, let's take a look. Okay, the first blunder, of course, Baby Angel Megan tripped on the banana peel. Oh, the old time. Then, the Big Ben, I don't know who he's throwing it to. I don't know if he's trying to number 76, so he's hoping that number 
31, Edgar gets free and catches the ball. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Circus of blunders. I mean, <laughs> is he like mad at number 76 or something? Does he have some kind of grudge? Is he saying, hey, I got sacked by number 31. This is payback. <laughs> <laughs> A circus of blunders. So on fourth down, the score is now on for the Pittsburgh. It's a 40-yard attempt. It's a chip shot at 20 yards. Well, after 31 minutes of broadcasting this episode, we're at 3 and 3. Why not? Could be worse. It could be 17 to 3. 